friends welcome back to our table I had um, a couple of readings that people wanted me to do um, someone wanted me to read on Melania um, and someone wanted me to read on Warren um, I started doing the political readings where um, I was right by the way about Beto. I told y'all he was going to drop out and he did yesterday. Well, actually last night, yesterday evening. Um, but when I was doing the readings, what I figured out was it's too early and people haven't made up their minds and so <laughs> they keep changing. Um, I know I did a, a reading on um, Bernie. And I said I didn't think he was going to do well because it wasn't showing he was doing well. Well, now he's up there. But this is what I'm talking about. So I did mention that I would refer to wait to do the political readings when people have made up their mind. Because otherwise, they're bouncing back and forth. I'm going to be wrong on a lot of it. But um, I will read on Lauren because Warren because apparently uh, that person was upset that I didn't read on Warren. But let me tell you, it may not be accurate. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Don't get mad at me if it's not accurate because people haven't made up their minds of who they're going to stick with and they keep jumping ship. And that's why I said I would prefer to do the political readings when people have made up their mind. And then you can count on what you get. But anyway, so I will do Warren first, and that's all I can do, and I apologize that it upset you. Okay, um, Elizabeth Warren, how are you doing with the election? Elizabeth Warren, how are you doing with the election? Elizabeth Warren, how are you doing with the election? Okay, let's see. What? Okay, hang on. I may not be able to do these cards because this is not making sense. It didn't feel... Oh, okay, never mind. This is good. <laughs> See, this is why you can't go by just looking at the cards and what the cards say. You need to, this is the perfect example <laughs> if there's ever been one. Okay, so we have the room card, which we all know is about secrets. Okay, the secret here is about her, um, it's not a bad secret, y'all. It's it's actually about her Medicare for All. And that she's um, trying to work out a plan so that everybody can see that it's affordable and everything. But she's kind of keeping it secret. She doesn't want the other uh, Democrats running to know so that then they can attack her on it. So she's trying to keep it... <laughs> <laughs> kind of keep it to her herself and her team um, but there may be something wrong in her plan um, because we have Melicom and this is really kind of like a disappointment or sadness um, nah, okay Elizabeth Warren bless her heart I love Elizabeth Warren anyway um, Elizabeth Warren is, how do I say this, thin-skinned. Um, she takes things very personal when someone says something. And someone has said something that has hurt her feelings. And she's taking that very personal and it, it saddens her. Like an unnecessary attack as she would see it or feel it. But she's taken it very personal. I haven't heard anybody. So maybe this is something that's going to be said. I, I, I don't know. Okay, this is the wife card. 
Um, this is in case the wife card because she is the wife, okay? And um, she's happy, <laughs> which is a good thing. She's happy about the decision she's made and she thinks she can move forward and do it. And she has the support, family, friends, everyone. Who, who doesn't love Elizabeth Warren? I mean, yeah, so she's got the support. And this is what really threw me. Uh, the prison card. It's not about prison. <laughs> That's why I said it's good to, to, to feel what's going on. This is about her being chained to her plans. Probably the Medicare for all. Where... She's chained to it now. She can't let go of it. She can't really say she's chained to it. She may be worried because we've got the clowning around, um, which means to me she may be worried that she's not going to be taken serious because of the Medicare for all. Which I think is a great idea, y'all. I don't know why anybody... <laughs> because unlike Canada, everybody deserves to live and have a life and be healthy. And they shouldn't be bankrupt to do it or turned away because they don't have money. That's just my opinion, y'all. It's just my opinion, that's all. This whole thing is my opinion on my reading. <laughs> so, But anyway, she's chained to the Medicare for all and it may be that she feels like um, she's being made fun of like it's a joke or something I don't know I haven't really um, I mean I do watch the debates when they come on but I really haven't seen so I don't know what's hurt her feelings that someone has said that has um, hurt her and um I don't know why she thinks the Medicare, maybe she feels like she's becoming the butt of the joke, you know? Um, but it's her, it's, it's, it's her theme. I have a plan for that. But maybe she's starting to feel like she's being made fun of or taken as a joke and not taken seriously. Okay? My overall general feeling, she's great. She's got superb support people are backing i do believe she's she's number one in the polls now isn't she but let me caution you people <laughs> now listen to me it's early people are jumping ship and going to this person and that person and that can change don't hold me to it because it's too early which is why I said I would prefer to do the readings when people have made up their mind and then it's a little more sure. Right now, this can change next week. Okay. <laughs> and I made you mad. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and that's all I can say, sweetie. So, okay. Now, let's see about Melania. Somebody wanted to know about Melania. Oh, what's going on with Melania? How is she feeling about everything? What is going on about Melania and how is she feeling about everything? What is going on about Melania and how is she feeling? All right. Huh. Mm. Okay, this is a surprise. Ah, uh, okay. She was surprised 
when Trump was booed in Texas. That shocked her. Okay. Oh, we have melancholy again. So she said, and she is sad over the booing. Mm -hmm. She's waiting. What are you waiting for, Melania? What are you waiting for? Honestly, this is what I'm getting. She's waiting for it all to end and be over. I, I don't think she likes being in the White House, likes any of this. I think she just wants it over and go back to her own. Yeah, she might as well because she hasn't been a good friend. Again, this is all my opinion of my reading, but this is all my opinion. She hasn't been a good first lady. Oh, what a joke. Be best? Really? I've already been through that with with the kids and things when I did that video and got so mad. I have no respect for this woman. I'm sorry. I have no respect for her as a first lady or anything else. But I don't I don't wish any harm or ill will to anybody no matter how I feel about them and I try to be neutral in my readings. So anyway, she's waiting for all of this to end so she can go back to her faithfulness, her truthfulness, hers. Notice I'm saying hers. Because it's not about everybody else. It's all about her. Her truthfulness. And then she'll be happy again. She'll be joyful. Well, so will the rest of the country. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll all be happy when that's all said and done. Um, funny. I don't get anything about her worried about Trump or his health or anything. It's her. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only please seek professional advice on any and all matters I have as much of a chance of being wrong as I do of being right I read the cards energy and that energy can change at any time please keep in mind this is all just my opinion and nothing more I'm going to do more one more reading that I remembered somebody asked me it's been a while ago Y'all, I forget things, and then things happen, and I think, okay, well, let me read on that. I'm not being judgmental or anything. It's just the way it is. I am an imperfect person. <laughs> Please accept that. Okay, somebody a while back asked me to read, read on Roger Stone. So since his trial is coming up, I will read on Roger Stone. Okay, Mr. Stone, how are you doing? Roger Stone, how are you doing? Roger Stone, how are you doing? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Here we go, Roger Stone. Falseness. He's a liar. He's false. He's fake. Period. It's the end. It feels to me like he's going to jail. That's exactly what I felt when I put it down. It feels to me like he's going to jail. It's the end for him. Well, good and happen to a nice guy surprise the surprise is he's going to jail because he doesn't think he's going to jail he also thinks trump will um pardon him so no trump is nobody's friend i don't know why people don't why do they not get this <laughs> he doesn't care to pardon him and bad news the bad news is not only are you going to jail but your friend foe isn't going to pardon you either. <laughs> okay. 
So there we go. Um, I am thinking about um, going live and doing a live video because I told y'all that I was thinking about maybe my first live video was when Trump was gone, but then it occurred to me, you won't know what the heck you're doing. So at least I should try to go live and get to know it before. <laughs> because that would really upset me when Trump leaves if I can't figure out how to go live because I didn't think to do it. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Now, when I thought about that, I thought, well, I want everybody, because I have um, people that are from all over. So I was trying to figure out the best time when everybody might be home, when, you know, because if I do it in the morning, a lot of people will be at work, and because of time zones and things, some people will still be sleeping. It'll be nighttime for them. So the best I could figure is to do it in the evening, afternoon slash evening time. And maybe then that way, because I would love to talk to, you know, and see everybody, and including the ones, our friends in Australia and the UK, because I have a lot of different um, people everywhere. And I, I love it. And by the way, thanks to all of the, the new viewers and our, our new friends at our table, just pull up a chair and become a part of it. It's a friendly group. I, by the way, I really love y'all because you're y'all talk to each other and everything. It's great. It's great. I love it. Anyway, let's get a message card. Um, but the reason why I brought that up is I may do it this evening, although my son's coming over for his birthday or maybe Sunday, but I want to do it on a weekend so people aren't at work and can, you know what I'm saying? Um, if y'all have any suggestions, you know, I'm on Central Time because I'm in Texas. So we have the Page of Cups. I am as young as I choose to feel. Well, okay, maybe that's for my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as young as I just <laughs> Okay. So, I think that's it again um, to the friend about Warren. Sorry it made you mad. I, I'm not sitting, I don't sit here to make people mad, y'all. I don't. It's, it's not what I want to do. And I did explain um, that I would prefer to do the political readings because I realized the ones I did earlier. I think I did Pete Buttigieg, Bernie Sanders, and Beto. Both of them were wrong because people are, the only one that was right was Beto dropping out because that was his decision. It wasn't counting on all of the other people and what they're doing and they're jumping ship and going here. Because I said Bernie, I didn't see him. I saw him going down. Well, surprisingly, he did go down. But then, boom, he jumped back up there. So it wasn't anything personal against you. Certainly not anything personal against Elizabeth Warren. I love her. <laughs> I just know chances are they're not going to be accurate. Not that they're not accurate, but they will change because people are have not made up their mind. Okay, that's all I was trying to do. Nothing else. Okay. Love y'all. I'm looking forward to doing a live video. So, you know, I even thought about doing a live video when I do the table for Christmas. So I don't know. It's still, I'm still mulling it around, but I need to do a live video so I know what to expect and how it works. <laughs> okay, so because I'm not a techie person. But anyway, until the next time, friends. Thanks.